Howdy, 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 my beautiful Cancer. How are you doing, darling? My name is Simply Velka, and today we're going to be getting into your weekly tarot reading, Cancer, for July 2022. Now, darling, be sure to check at the top right-hand corner of your screen, Cancer, because I have the monthly tarot reading for July as well listed up there if you want to check it out. But let me know in this tarot reading uh, beforehand how this resonates with you, because that's how I keep up with you, Cancer. As well as be sure to give this video a like and subscribe, darling. It's completely free to do, Cancer, and it helps me out a lot, all right? Uh, now, darling, be sure, Cancer, as well when it comes to consuming zodiac tarot readings on youtube that you consume more than just your sun sign consume your sun moon rising and venus that's how you make these tarot readings work the best for you is by catering these energies to your chart all right so cancer we're going to be doing three rows for you for this weekly reading today cancer your first row is going to be covering your career and social uh your career as well as your financial situation cancer all right your second row is going to be covering your social life darling right your platonic relationships romantic potentially family is just your social life all right and then in your third row cancer we're going to be dealing with your just general tarot messages that you need to hear at this time maybe something on your spiritual team needed to get across to you but uh let's get into this here uh, my beautiful Cancer, your first card back of the deck is the Justice Energy, darling, all right? That beautiful, beautiful Libra energy. It's even in the back over. It's full bias, honey, all right? I, I'm a Cancer rising, but <laughs> I am a Libra Scorpio cusp, all right? Justice Energy. The truth always finds a way, darling Cancer, all right? The scales of justice always are going to come back into balance, even if it feels as if it's not happening quick enough for you, all right? I get like this sense for you. Some of you... Uh, uh, cancers are dealing with some injustices in the workplace here perhaps some of you guys are feeling as if you're being overworked underappreciated i do see this big time for you uh in your social life here cancer i feel as if this is a lot of sense of where you're being misunderstood or where you feel as if your character has been getting smudged or what is the word your character has been getting stained people have been coming after your character spreading lies perhaps that's a big thing that i see with that is like spreading lies cancer i see in your general prediction as well here where it's almost this sense for you cancer that how would i want to put this you know what we'll just wait to the third row for that let's just get into these tarot cards here but remember cancer this is going to be relevant for all three of your rows the sense of scales the balance uh coming back in the truth coming out darling all right so getting into your uh your career i don't know why to keep on and call this your social life your financial and career situation you have the moon energy here all right with the seven of swords as well as the four of cups here all right i had to double check to make sure that was it all right so i feel like in the workplace here uh cancer there is just like this sense of imbalance like i keep on being shown like these scales of where it's just like heavily weighed um down on the opposite side here I don't know if you guys have been dealing with just some type of injustice in the workplace or just being underappreciated if it's in that dynamic or maybe when it comes to I see for some of you guys very specific message but if someone's owing you money I see there's going to be there's going to be a confrontation about that this week whether that's a good or bad confrontation it's very personal and situational but um that is something that is coming to mind here cancer um but also for some of you you haven't been able to figure out what you needed to change for some of you to change your financial story here all right some of you uh cancers have been looking asking the spiritual uh, your spiritual team the universe honey whatever it is you subscribe to you've been asking for outside assistance to bring further balance in here balancing out your checkbook right um i get like oddly the sense of like opportunity i keep on being shown like a like an o um in capital in in capital letters obviously that o just that one capital letter capital o i don't know why i was complicating it <laughs> let's get into your social life here now cancer king of swords i also want this to be noted that the king of swords was in is the heart of your energy this uh for your spread this week here 
cancer all right to that king of swords so it's like this sense of truth coming out here all right so this is going to be potentially either really beautiful or really toxic here all right cancer so it's going to be really dependent if you feel as if you're living if your life is like a mori case or not a mori episode all right i get like this sense here of like truth coming out true feelings being revealed here all right wheel of fortune coming in here making a play as well things were feeling fairly unpromising for a little bit a lot of air energy can we also just take a note here you were feel like there's something with when it comes to this relationship with this person feels as if like communication was just a main issue here maybe someone didn't want to be vulnerable to the other side here but i feel as if the swords are being put down all right truth is being uh the record is being set straight cancer is something that i hear as well some of you guys were uh, were thinking that this other person was doing one thing or thinking one thing, but it was actually something else entirely different. Like, I get, like, the sense that, like, I know how ominous it can sound where it's just, like, truth being revealed or what have you uh, in this dynamic here, uh, Cancer. But I feel like, truly, it's just the sense of, like, true intentions being revealed here or the sense of, like, maybe there's something that has been keeping you and, like, especially with that divine counterpart energy cancer it's like maybe whatever has been keeping you really distant from this other person that you always have felt like a drawing towards but maybe it's just like a lack of communication that was the problem or something there's like a problem that kept you two apart very like romeo and juliet-esque style but not with that whole plot right so it's just like y'all are meant to be together but it's always like some type of complication that um, if it was just left to y'all's true own personal feelings, y'all would blend really beautifully together. All right. So pretty excited about clarifying that. Let's get into your general tarot messages here that I wanted to put a pause on initially. My beautiful Cancer. Y'all have more uh, sword energy, that air energy. Page of pentacles as well as swords with this temperance energy. All right. So what I wanted to hold off on beforehand, Cancer, was like I get like this weird sensation of where it's like someone's coming clean. All right. About something. All right. Maybe maybe that's where, where like the debt was owed or what have you. Like I get like this sense of someone feeling guilty or just like your your side being heard finally. So, or it's just like someone new comes into the play. Either someone new comes into the play or like someone involved in the situation like new information comes out that again reveals the sense of truth reveals like the true justice all right some of you guys have been are dealing with cancer with the law i feel like something's going to be happening with that law case that like some new found out like i don't know like there's this speaks about something being revealed that you're not quite aware about uh cancer initially but once it comes into the picture it changes everything and so it's like your spiritual team is telling you just to hold out just a little bit longer all right hold out just a little bit longer i feel as if for some of you as well cancer someone that you were in uh, not on the best of terms with as well your path is starting to uh line up with this person again where again like i see this sense of reconciliation here i see this sense of where y'all are able to uh understand each other's differences you will are, you were able to understand where the communication might have might have might have been why does that sound weird okay so why have i not been able to speak properly for y'all's reading it it's like this sense of where might have sounded bad i don't know we'll just move on from that cancer all right maybe i'm like trying to, like i'm starting to go a little bit too deep or something like that honey because i don't know why i'm like all of a sudden now having a problem speaking here but it's like i get i'm still gonna push it here cancer it's like there's a sense of reconciliation that's needed because it's like if you guys truly understood like you know how it's always like says there's there's always three truths your side their side and the actual truth like i feel as if you guys were able if y'all were able to fully see a situation for what it was and it's full light it would just be different like i don't know it wouldn't be seen as in such a black and white way anyways cancer let's start clarifying these roles darling <laughs> All right. let's get into your career and uh financial situation firstly cancer all right 
So just as a reminder, it's the Four of Cups, Seven of Swords with the Moon energy. I just know for a fact as well, Cancer, that y'all are dealing with a lot of different people as well. Because in my head, I keep on thinking about Scorpios. I think about Pisces. I think about Aquarius. It's like I'm thinking about several Zodiac signs. You have such strong air energy even in this uh, in your reading here. So it's just like y'all are dealing with a lot of different energies. All right. Some of you um, Cancers might really benefit from from doing a cleanse as well because you know especially when you're interacting with a bunch of different people if you're noticing like your energetic bat like your you're just battery your energy energetic battery again like um if you're noticing like something's off like how i apparently can't speak right now i feel like you would really benefit ca uh, cancer from doing that cleansing because there's like maybe perhaps certain attachments still or just something stuck on your energy that's a little bit foreign so just look into doing like some type of orc cleanse in that sense all right so clarifying this uh, career and financial, you have the Six of Cups, Queen of Cups with the Two of Pentacles coming in here. All right, Cancer. So this speaks about receiving an offer and... <sighs> Cancer, you're going to be brought forward with a choice when it comes to your financial life. All right. There's going to be some offer that you're going to be receiving with the Six of Cups here that then puts you in this place of this predicament of where it's just like all right like what choice do i make here that's for the best right um for many of you cancers i get like this sense of where while your current job or how you currently make your money is there is just some problems in that area clearly something new comes to the forefront that is a little bit out of your element it's like when it first comes in initially for you cancer you're not quite sure what to make of it you're not quite sure what to really do with this right it's not something that's really familiar with you here but i feel like it would be really profitable for you to consider it because with that queen of cups energy here all right that gets you closer to your goal it may not feel like it i mean your whatever financial career goal that you ultimately have it may not feel like it. and i say that because of that queen of cups here all right she doesn't lose sight of what it is as, what it is that she wants to accomplish and while it may not as i was saying well it may not feel as if you taking this other opportunity helps get you closer to your goal it actually is so let's just say like uh you want to be an actor all right but you're always having to work these uh uh acting jobs where you don't really get much of a part you get underpaid and what have you but then you get offered this opportunity to work at this at a reception at this big company all right or something like that where it pays well but it kind of like it seemingly is taking you into the more corporate side rather than into the more of the acting right so you're kind of like at this conundrum of being like mm, do i make this decision do i do this or not I feel as if by you taking that corporate job or like working at the front you might end up meeting someone that has those connections that get you that helps you through the acting door all right so that's just like an analogy that i feel like best expresses how i see things going down you for your career obviously you want to be replacing the adjectives and the verb for all that but it's just that's how i feel like your story is going to be going for your career so Cancer, now let's start clarifying your second row here, remembering that it was the King and Queen of Swords with that Wheel of Fortune, Dallin. All right, Ten of Pentacles coming in here, Death card stepping forward, Seven of Pentacles, and then the Ace of Pentacles, Lenny, in the back of the deck here. Yeah, this speaks about a situation in your life, Cancer, someone that, it's almost as if, like, when you guys are not on speaking terms it's like for you cancer you're like man did i just waste all my time and energy on this person and it's just like they wasted my time for all for this like i get this sense of being angry with yourself partially angry with yourself partially angry with them or where you just feel let on and you're like did i just waste my time with this here you didn't waste your time cancer all right there's something that was just like complicating things i don't know what it was obviously it's gonna like that requires like a personal reading for me to figure that out for you cancer but it's like the sense of where it's like y'all two would be such a beautiful match without question cancer without question y'all would be such a solid match here 
it's not a waste of time. You might have felt frustrated because you felt like an initial spark or interest with somebody, try to get to know them. And then it came out to be nothing or like whatever. Like, I don't know. I get like this sense of misinformation again, like this sense of something coming to light cancer that then brings so much clarity and then bridges the gap of some, a situ, a situ of a situation that seemed otherwise extremely promising because that wheel of fortune was quickly turning against y'all. It felt right. So that's what I get for that. So Cancer, just as a reminder, now we're going to be getting your clarifying cards for your general tarot messages. Remembering that is the Page of Swords and Pentacles with that Temperance energy. And I feel like that's what it's really honing in on. It speaks about a situation of the past, like the past isn't done. Like the, there's something still like something that still needs to be addressed. Something that still needs to be handled. Your side still needs to be heard or closure needs to happen. I don't know. There's just like... Uh -uh. Just clarifying this. Queen of Cups in the back of the deck. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. All right, so we have the Three of Cups, Cancer, Ace of Swords with the Three of Swords coming in here. All right. This, I mean, speaks straight up with people, darling. <laughs> speaks straight up with people. Speaks about a situation, past situations that were really disappointing to you. You were really hopeful about the situations initially. Like, it's like when it first came into your life, when you first heard about it, you celebrated. Something came in that then brought that disappointment, disappointment after the fact. This Ace of Swords comes in here where it's just like this new energy steps forward. This new insight. Again, all this sword energy that you have, all this air zodiac energy that you have here, Cancer involved with you involved with you here it's so much communication so much like it's just so much clarity comes in all right cancer and so i want you to just know that when it comes to someone from the past and darling like uh, i already like save it already cancer like if you're about to be typing like oh this person was a narcissist or abusive honey i'm obviously not talking to you about this okay i'm talking to my cancers that when it came to a situation you already felt really good about them you felt as if like you either identify them as a soulmate twin flame or you know you just felt really drawn to them with that king and queen of swords cancer all right and there's like that sense of where you felt like they wasted your time because it just whatever happened where it didn't initially click all right it's going to be coming back don't get don't be too cynical about it i know some of you guys cancer might be like shutting yourself off from it because you're just like oh nope i don't want to get my emotions invested with this anymore give it another chance cancer okay so you have the boar card coming in here face your problems head on with confidence and courage and you will emer emerge victorious what did i say cancer like you what your whole week is all about you winning girl my cards <laughs> your whole week is all about you winning you can handle this cancer don't avoid all right don't avoid some of you guys might be trying to avoid confrontation darling don't do that and what did I say? I was feeling Pisces with y'all, honey, Cancer, and y'all have the new moon in Pisces attuned to the divine here. All right. I feel like for some of you guys here, th your spiritual team is working really hard to get your path really back in t into entwinement, entwinement, uh, <laughs> being back into being intertwined, Cancer, with certain people. With cer there's some, some, there's something very relevant in your life cancer that keeps on like finding its way back into your life no matter how much you try to avoid it or try to like scoot around it like there's certain there's something that continuously finds its way back in no matter how much you try to avoid it and you need like spirits really trying to be like hey darling we're the ones putting this in front of you pay attention all right cancer so that's the weekly tarot reading that i have for you darling thank you so much for allowing me to do this remember on the top right corner of your screen honey i have your monthly tarot reading cancer be sure to check out your summon rising in venus all right remember cancer if you want to book a private reading with me my website's linked down below simply velka dot com all right my social medias if you'd like to connect with me on a more intimate level cancer is just tiktok and instagram simply velka same as here but i love you so much cancer and hopefully i can connect with you sometime in the near future Bye, darling.